What's up, Jerome's? A Minnesota Fighting Vikings general manager search is really starting to take form as they're lining up interviews. They already got one done with Monty Austin Ford, the pride of Laverne, Minnesota, Minnesota Morris, uh, director of player personnel for the Tennessee Titans, longtime scout for the New England Patriots. Love him. They talked to him on Sunday. I think as of right now, the, there are two betting favorites that I, I would put a jelly bean or two on if we can find a market for it. I would bet on Austin Fort. I would bet on Ryan Poles. I'm not saying, I'm just saying. Hmm. So running down the list of candidates, uh, Kimberly Martin, Courtney Cronin, Doogie, as well as Rap Sheet uh, are all confirming some of these interview dates for the Vikings this week. Now, here's the thing. Catherine Rach and Brandon Brown of the Eagles. A lot of people have said, I don't want anyone from the Eagles because they took uh, they took Rieger over Justin Frigg and Jefferson, right? Now, a, a couple things here. Number one, they could have been all in on J.J. Raish, Brandon Brown, uh, both uh, personnel people, sure. But Howie Roseman made the ultimate decision. And you saw during the draft, I think it was after uh, Howie took a defensive tackle in the third round or something like that, that a lot of his longtime scouts, a lot of his lieutenants, they weren't happy. They, they were physically not happy with Howie Roseman and how he had handled the draft. So, uh, again, it would very, it'd be very easy in, their, in these interviews for Raish and Brown to be like, I want a Justin Jefferson. He was going to be the stud. He was wide receiver one on my board. Woo! Good times. Uh, but ultimately, Howie made the call. And they can make that claim, and they may be right. They may be crazy. Who, who knows? But, yeah, don't dismiss anyone involved the Eagles just because of what went down with J.J. And Howie. Howard. Anyway, so Catherine Raich, Catherine, the great VP of football operations, 33 years young, rising star, the Canadian, uh, former CFL assistant general manager, also worked in the XFL, been the Eagles since 2019. Highest ranking female executive in NFL history. She's going to be interviewing on Monday. Also has ties with Doug Peterson, as well as Jonathan Gannon, who the Vikings uh, have requested an interview with the Eagles, D.C. Also on Monday is Kwesi Adolfo Mensa of the Browns, VP of Football Operations there. Uh, and also, uh, take a step back. You'll notice that all these names, young. Young. Young influx of talent. I think Austin Fort is actually the elder statesman at 43. So they are focusing on uh, on the next generation which is good to see. Now, you can say, sure, none of these guys have any general manager experience, but, yeah, what are you going to do? Like, hire Gettleman? Get out of here. Uh, but also today, uh, Kwesi Adolfo Mensa, a Mensa meeting. Oh, I get it. I get it now. A VP of football operations for the Browns, an analytics guy, econ degree from Princeton as a fellow econ finance major. That hits me right there. It, it does. Now, we don't have to go full money ball on the bit, but – you know the old school, uh, the old school scouting of he can play, right? I think we need to find a happy medium, not just the numbers, not just uh, just not just old school. Just find a happy medium. I, I think we can do that. On Tuesday, they're going to be interviewing Brandon Brown, director of player personnel for the Eagles. Uh, Thirty-three years young, a former scout, uh, been with the Eagles since 2017. Uh, again, does have ties with Doug as well as Jonathan Gannon. Uh, also, I'm jumping around here, but I'm going by calendar. I should have sorted these out better. But Ryan Poles of the Chiefs, yeah, I, I think that Poles is sitting in the Poles position. Uh, Executive Director of Player Personnel, I think he and um, uh, uh, Borgonzi are uh, seen as rising stars within the Chiefs. But you'll notice that Borgonzi hasn't gotten any formal interview requests. I, I think it's possible that he wants to stay with Brett Veach. But Poles, I think he's ready to spread his wings and learn to fly, baby. 13 years, uh, has ties with Doug Peterson, who was uh, Andy Reid's assistant in Kansas City back in the day, uh, as well as Eric Bienemy, of course. So it's possible possibility there uh john spytech is going to be this week according to rap sheet also glenn cook the browns vp of player personnel uh is going to be scheduled for a thursday uh, again former scout also been with the browns since 2016 and uh you, you do like what andrew barry has built there with the browns at kevin stefanski it obviously didn't work out this year uh, but i like that the way uh, i like the way over the last two years the browns have really gone after uh, finding value in terms of free agency, finding value in the draft. And I, I think that they do have a solid team. They just were really up against it this year. Uh, they did not draft Baker Mayfield, but they were stuck with him. And also they they were one of the teams heavily impacted by the Rona this year, as well as injuries. So uh, that's whatever there. But uh, Elliot Wolf is starting to schedule interviews. I think he's interviewing with, with the Bears today, but it, he's, I'm sure he will get in the mix uh, this week with the Vikings. And, and it's also fine, Boar. Usually these GM interviews would take place in person, but because of things, everything is happen, happening over Zoom and, and whatnot. But 
I, I'm sure that this will pare down the list to a short list, and then a couple of people will get interviewed in person because, you know, what are you going to do? Are you really going to hire someone based off of a Zoom chat or a Skype chat? I don't know, man. I don't know, man. But there just is, like, other cues that you don't really pick up on a Zoom call. Like, you could talk football all day. You could talk about uh, flying at 30,000 feet uh, at the end of the day, blah, blah, blah stuff. But, yeah, yeah, we'll see. We'll see who gets into the next round because – I don't think that they're just going to pick a GM based off of this first round of interviews. I could be wrong, or maybe they had a name that they wanted all along, but they just wanted to pick the brains of some other organizations, especially young, especially analytically focused, uh, just to get ideas. So uh, we'll see there. But your thoughts are thoughts of schedule of Vikings general manager candidates starting to come together. I love it when a plan comes together. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once both the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.